Hello YouTube, this is Jumping Game 44, and today I'm here to give one well, of my quick thoughts of Dragon Nine Realms Season 4, Part 2. Now, of course, in my last video, it was a bit rush, but that was because I had to review all six episodes at the same time. But here, I want to give my full opinion all about Season 6, I mean, 4 all together in one go, instead of going 1, 2, by each episode. Now, in all honesty, Season 4 was interesting. Season 1, when it first came out, a lot of people didn't like it, but I did. But the main reason why was because Season 1 was basically the starting up of the whole entire series, where basically every kid quickly meets their dragon, gets gets a dragon, and become dragon riders. That's that. And they could a quick boss fight where they immediately and make a vow they would become dragon riders. It was quick and rushed, I know, but... There were a few reasons, but just a few months later, Season 2 came out. It did add some of the things I thought Season 1 needed, because it needed a few more episodes, but here we got more adventuring. But a few things I didn't like was that Tom keeping the secret. I mean, I think it would have made more sense if he kept the secret of what he had done to that whole entire dragon in the first season, where he turns out he shot it down, and at the end he reviewed it, but because... He probably put the team in danger somehow by not reviewing it. I really don't know how, but still. Season 3, quite honestly, was the best so far. We got more of Buzzsaw and actually more character development with him, along with Jean, who was also in only one episode until the very last, which was kind of boring. But still, Season 3 was interesting and quite honestly one of the best. But Season 4 only got better. Because really, we got far more adventuring with the Ice Realm. We finally found Ta Thunder's family. We found new dragons. And we also well, got a bunch of new things. Now, in all honesty, I actually really did like the way what they did with Eugene here. He was actually kind of fun with seeing the first two episodes, how he was with D'Angelo and Alex. Seeing how those two characters mix together with how they react just being with themselves and how they talk, and what they kind of get. It kind of makes sense with more with Alex and Jean. I mean, I didn't really think about it, but those two technically make good characters being together, because actually they're both smart in a way, and they actually make a good team. But also, later on in this season, in the Nightlight two-parter, they actually found Hiccup's leg, which, I gotta be honest, I was surprised they were trying to guess what it was, but everyone did not believe Eugene saying it was a leg. And he was pulling out all the reasons why, and yet no one believed him. Too bad it got eaten, though. Now, throughout this season, it was honestly interesting Buster coming back, even though he was only in two episodes. It was a lot better than what we got in the previous two seasons. I mean, season one, I mean, season two, one, he wasn't there. Season two, he was there, but only for one episode, and he never any interacted with Tom or the other Dragon Riders. Season 3, he only interacted with Eugene and his and Tom's mother, along with... I forgot what the other girl's name is for some reason. Maybe because we're not getting that much of her. Season 4, though, we actually finally see more of him being a real enemy to the Dragon Riders and all of that. Now, in all honesty, with Season 4... I think one of the best things about it, it was more that I was having like an adventure type going into the hidden world. Like we went into way more deeper. Like I'm not really sure how many realms we found. Like we got the crystal realm, the fire realm, the ice realm, and this dark realm. Or light realm. Like if I had to count like all the other realms together we have seen so far. It was definitely interesting. Now with season, I honestly like the titan wing, ooh and way. Because I just found it amazing. It was great. I really love that dragon. Quite honestly, it was one of my favorites. Now, besides all that, with the Titan Wing dragon, I honestly did like some of the other episodes. I like the way how Feathers and... I'm not gonna lie, I actually ship Pla Feathers and Webmaster together. I think those two actually make a cute couple after seeing that episode. I'm not gonna lie. But nonetheless... Besides all that with those episodes, when it came to the Nightlights, I was actually generally surprised. Like, I thought we were going to see, like, every one or two seasons apart where they would show Thunders or any of the other main dragons, other family members. Like, we already seen 
Plowhorn in season one. In season two, it was Feathers. We didn't see anything in season three, but season three, we got both Uwen Wei and Thunder. With that, something I gotta point out Thunder's family, we finally find. Which that answers the question, and you think maybe Thunder's going to stay with them. He actually was going to, but at the end, he decided to choose to stay with Tom. Although that was because the other dragons did not want him to leave because he was a part of their family, but he see, but they at the end they saw how much they cared about each other. And the Titan Wing decided, you know what? I know how much you want to go back with them. Alright, you go, I'll miss you. But please come and visit. <laughs> and so they all go together and become Dragon Riders. Now, another thing in the Nightline episode that I couldn't really mention because I was all running out of time. When they went when they finally found Thunder's family, they actually kind of found a painting of Hiccup, Asteroid, and their two children. Because in the book, it sold Hiccup and the other teens as teenagers back when they were still like in the second movie. But in here in the cave, it's just Hiccup and Asteroid with their children, how we saw them at the end of the third movie, which, wow. Although, I got a few questions. Why did Hiccup left that thermos there? Why did he made a whole entire narrow book if he was not supposed to be in the Dragon Realm? And why was he in the Dragon Realm to begin with as well? Why did he left his leg there? And why did he made his helmet? Unless it was one of his kids that did it all, but still. It was a bit of a surprise that Hiccup would actually leave his leg there. Like, was there a reason? Did something bad happen to Hiccup? Did something had to happen? And also there was a bunch of traps. Which kind of curious, why would someone leave a bunch of traps there? I'm guessing it was Hiccup. At first, I thought it was Bussa, but still. Now, really, Season 4 was really more adventuring and really trying to get more to know about some of each of the characters and how they react with Gene. And quite honestly, because it kind of made sense, the last episode, last season, it was Gene trying to find out Dragon Club. The season before that, he was only in two episodes, and we barely really see his character with the other teams that much. But honestly, he was kind of really a good character in this season, I won't lie. He was still kind of a jerk, but he was a lot more likable than the previous two. And I did like Webmaster. Not gonna lie, I think I'm starting to like Webmaster a lot. Now, nonetheless, the Book of Dragons, I know it's not the same, but... Because it has images of the hidden world, I'm going to say, look, they probably made a new Book of Dragons some point later on in life. Back 1300 years ago. Now, in all honesty, what is my opinion about the season altogether as one? Well, it's probably the best season so far we got. Because it's more adventuring than the last season. And it's kind of a little bit more better because we finally get more, we see Tom Thunder's family. But there is a problem here. Now that Thunder has actually finally met his family, we found them. It's only just, and now that Thomas' mother knows about the secret, how is this going to affect? Because if you think about how long can this series really last now that the series has been exposed to his mother? Will she also keep the secret? Will she get a dragon? Will everyone else find out and want like wanting the secret to be exposed to the world to make this discovery? What will happen? That's something we just don't know yet. But really, that's something we're going to have to wait until Season 5, which probably will be out within a few months. Anyway, yeah, that's basically what this season probably is going to show us. Well, for Season 5. Anyway, until then, this is Justin Game 4 4, signing out. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye!